Hi, I'm Dean. We've got this 2013 uh, X240 Great Wall that we've just had a clutch failure in. So this car went out not that long ago, did very few amount of kilometres. And what I want to show you is what's happened over here. So see all this fluff laying around the ground here and all this fluff in here, all this sort of stuff there. That is the old remnants of the clutch plate. So here's the old clutch plate here, which has failed. You can see one side, it's all still together and it's got the material. This is a new one here, the new comparable one. So that's the new stuff. That's the old stuff. When they wear down, they wear down to that rivet in there. So you can see there's only a few millimeters. It's a bit hard to tell in this video, but see how there's a few millimeters of thickness there. Same in there. So the clutch wasn't worn at all. It just failed because when you turn it over and have a look under here, you can see all of the materials gone. That's just down to steel and all that material's gone. So these items live, so the clutch plate lives on top of the pressure plate, goes into the flywheel into this region so that when you push your foot on the clutch pedal, that goes back and forward and it pushes that spring in and out. So it pushes down on that like this. So when it's pushed down is when the clutch is engaged and, uh, and the motor can spin but the gearbox doesn't. So there it is, a failure of a clutch in an X240. We've moved a lot of these, I've never seen this before and I've never actually seen a clutch failure like this before. I mean, have a look, the gearbox, it still looks like a new one. There's no marks, there's no nothing. It's a low K uh, car, but hey, the clutch plate material has come apart. Look at it all in there. So, so there we have it. First one I've seen like this, don't know if it's a thing or not, but it is a thing for this one.